This channel does not promote or encourage any illegal activities. All contents provided by this channel is meant for educational purpose only. Hey what's up guys welcome back to my channel. In this video we are going to see what is a beef and how we can use it to exploit someone's browser. So beef is basically a browser exploitation framework as the name says and we can use it to compromise someone's browser and execute lot of commands just like to control their webcam, to take a screenshot and lot more things. In this video we are going to see how we can install it and set up beef and we are also going to practically exploit one victim like exploit one victim's browser. This video is just for educational purpose only. Please do not misuse it as it is totally illegal to hack someone. So without any further ado, let's begin this video. Just open your terminal and here just type in sudo apt install beef-xss just provide your password and it will ask for the password or various steps in the in that just provide yes just by typing y and in my case i've already installed it so it didn't ask all those questions and if you want you can change the password as well like the later on just go to cd user share beef dash xss and here you can see we have one file called config.yml just open this file sudo nano config.yml here you can provide the password so i provided the password b12 you can provide whatever you want and then close this file now just type in beef dash xss sudo beef dash xss it will start our beef framework server okay so it is started now here just type in username beef and the password which you have provided now here you can see they have provided all the description about the beef framework and here you can see offline browsers these so i've already used these machines so i have already attacked on these machines that's why it's represented here but in online browsers you can see what are online machines that are being attacked so what we are going to do is just open the terminal and here we need to host a website like we need to have a web page so that whenever someone visit that web page their browser will be compromised and we will have the connection to their web page through our B framework and here we will see the, those browsers for that just go to cd where www.html and here you will see there will be index.html file so let me just first remove this file because index.html file is apache default web page so we will remove that and we will create our own web page to create a new web page we will just type in sudo nano index.html and we will create a just sample web page so this is just a sample web page you can create or you can even clone any website so that the user will think that that is a valid website or a legit website so here what we need to provide is inside the head tag we need to provide that script tag so that the beef framework can have a connection to that victim's browser so for that what we need to do is just open the terminal Or just open that one only. 
just save this and if you scroll up you will see when we started the beef server you can see here this hook tag the script tag javascript tag that we need to hook in our web page so here if i type in index sudo nano index.html here inside the head tag i need to provide that script tag and if you see here it is saying ip address so here we need to provide the attacker's ip address that is our ip address so for that i can just type in ifconfig and this is my machine's ip address i will just copy this we are just providing the local ip address we can also make it public ip address using ng rock now paste it over here and by default the beef works on port 3000 so we will keep it as it is and now just simply save it now run the apache server sudo service apache 2 let's just stop it if it's already running and then let's start this so now if you see here now if you open in a new tab localhost so this was our web page which we added in the index.html so here in beef you can see if you reload this you can see online browser localhost this ip address so now what if we just provide our ip address which was uh, if config just copy this and let's suppose there is a victim having this ubuntu machine or any window machine or any machine and if it tries to open this url in the web page so if it provide that ip address .168.203.130 if i just try to hit this ip address you will see here that web page is loaded and here if we go to the beef you can see here online browsers one ip address is connected So this Ubuntu's browser is exploited now and we can control a lot of things from this browser. Now just simply reload this page. You can see here we have this online browsers and this IP address and this Ubuntu machine browser is now exploited and we have full control of it. Here if you go under this details, here you can see the IP address of Ubuntu machine. Let's check it. So yeah, the victim IP address was 192.168.203.132 and we can see here we have successfully exploited the victim's browser. And if you go under commands, you can see here lots of commands like under browser, 
we have this detect firebug apache tomcat then a lot of things and the best thing that we can find here is we can also get the all the cookies that are under that browser if you see here get local storage get session storage get visited urls also and you can also control their webcam then you can play sound on their system you can see here get cookie you can also get cookie from the victim system victim browser by just executing this you can see here we have the cookie so currently only one page is loaded in that so that page cookie is here and you can do a lot of things like you can have a chrome extension and you can execute commands as well you can search over here alert you can see here create alert dialog so here if you just type in you have been hanged if you execute this command in the ubuntu machine you can see the victim will get this pop up you have been hacked to prevent your browser from such attacks never open links that is basically starting with http and the unauthenticated links if you like this video please do hit the like button and subscribe to my channel for more such videos